Welcome to World Record Coup's Reviews. I'm your host, World Record Coup, and today I'm reviewing Seed Spinster. Um, this guy is pretty darn smooth. Let me get him back into focus, and I just lost a piece. He's one of those final Transformers in the last wave of Siege figures. I was going to get, um, what was his name? The, the train combiner that, or the train guy with the shuttle, but I'm not finding him anywhere. So, looks like I won't have him, and I cannot think of his name for Save My Life. But this guy is souped up with a couple of Weapon Masters, so let's take the Weapon Masters off. I got these two Weapon Masters at Target the other day on clearance, so I'm very happy about that. Very happy. I actually got three of them on clearance, so very happy. But he's a good-looking vehicle mode. Um, he's got, like, two canopies, which is really his legs. That's kind of weird, but there are helicopters like that. I like how the weapons are integrated into his uh, alt mode. And I really don't remember this character as a kid. I really got him because I like the design and I really just don't have enough of Deluxe Decepticons. We get tons of Deluxe Autobots, but not Decepticons. And he's the only the second one I bought for the Deluxe Decepticons. And he's the first original mode uh, Decepticon. So I'm sure they'll lose this, use this mode again, probably in the Earth mode. It, uh, Earth will Earth rise, but I do very much like it. I like the colors, I like everything about it except for the hand sticking out. That's really obvious. But besides that, you can't go wrong. Now I'll just have to get it in the uh robot mode. Okay, and here we are seeing him in his robot mode. This is Spinster looking good, looking good. Let's move the crate out the way. I like, I don't like the transformation because I feel like I'm going to break the legs just because of how they sit. But I do like the robot and alt modes. Both are really nice. It's just a shame that the transformation does not, it's not as fun or feels like it could damage the figure. Otherwise, I'd be transforming this thing all the time. Um, I like how this gun's going on his wrist or you can put him in his hands or you can put him up there. There's a lot of posability, a lot of playability with this guy. Um, just for example, I have a weaponizer here. You can put this guy right up here. And that looks good. You can also add another weaponizer up over here or have him holding it. I mean, it's just, again, there's a lot of options. A lot of options. I think they did a great job with uh, the figuring out of how they want to actually have this figure done. His head looks really nice. I like the darkened in eyes. Um, it's kind of long too for Decepticon, so it gives him more of a personality. <clears throat> but um, it's not much else to him. Just a little bit of a siege paint issues as far as making it look dirty, which I would like. I think it looks like it's been in a war. So I would give him an 8 out of 10 easily. He's fun. He, even if you don't know this character, which I didn't, I still pick him up. And I think you should too. I think you should too. So pick him up at Targets right now. That wave is on sale. Hopefully I can find Astro Train and call it a day for the Siege line. Thanks for watching. Peace and chicken grease.